Hi, this is my tutorial on how to animate smoke frame by frame. I'll be using TB Paint 11 Pro, but this can be applied to any digital animation software you have, such as Flash, Toon Boom, or ClipX. To start off, I use an illustration I made a few days ago and imported it into a 1920 by 1080 canvas with a frame rate of 25 frames a second. On a new layer, I use the illustration as a guide to animate a loop of circles coming from the chimney. I made sure the circles weren't too evenly spaced and each was held for four frames so it's a little slower. If you want to make it more complicated, you can make the circles larger as they rise or add in several smaller loops alongside the first. Once I was happy with that, I made a new layer. I used a 10 point round brush to create the edges of the smoke using the circles as a guide. A slightly textured or fuzzier edge to the brush might give a nice effect, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. As I animate, I'll usually play the animation, flick between frames and use the light table feature to make sure the movement is smooth and how I want it. Now I've lined the smoke and turned off the circle layer, I'm just playing through the movement which so far I'm happy with. Usually I'd add a few in-betweens first, but just so you can see the movement a little clearer, I'm going to colour it in. Now TV Paint has something called a CTG layer, and this really helps speed up the colouring process. For my source layer, I'm selecting Anim1, which is the name of my lines layer, and the CTG will act like the bucket tool. Simply draw a continuous line across any gaps and TV Paint will fill in the rest. Alternatively, if you are using another animation software, you can simply fill in the gaps on the line layer and colour it by hand or use the bucket tool. After playing the animation through, I only added a few in between, such as one right at the end to loop back to the first frame, and a couple where the circles rise from the chimney as the line seems to pop slightly. After that, I coloured them in and played it back again. Once I was happy with the animation, I merged the line and CTG layers and activated the stencil feature on the smoke layer. I made a new layer above, which will now work like a clipping mask and allow me to add texture to the smoke. Here, I'm using a medium grey and a textured brush to go over the smoke in each frame. I then made another layer above that and repeat using a darker grey. Once I was happy with how my animation looked, I reduced the opacity of the smoke layer to around 50%, the mid and dark grey texture layers to around 25-30% to and merged the three together. As you can see my piece is now finished, I did import the layers separately from my illustration into TV Paint to play about with a bit. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful, comment if there's anything you'd like me to cover or have any questions and don't forget to subscribe for more.